Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video on the topic Algo Trading. Today I am going to show you how to place orders in Zeradha using Java program. In the first video we have seen how to connect to Zeradha using Java. Please watch that tutorial before continuing this video. Ok let's get into the video. First. Open the frame. Then place components one by one. This is text field to enter the name of stock. Label for capital allocation. Here we set how much amount should be allocated for the order. Next label for quantity. Text field for quantity. Label for stop loss. Text field for stop loss. Next radio buttons for market and limit orders. This helps to set the order type as market or limit. Add a button group. Button group 1. Assign the button group to both the radio buttons. Set the first radio as selected. Next label for LTP. This is the field for last price. Next button for buy order. Button for sell order. Finally label to display margin. Ok. Let's run the code. Ok this is the frame to place orders. Next we need to find each values one by one. Double click the stock name field to add event. Go to Kite documentation page. Click Java library. Select examples. Scroll to margin calculation and copy the code. Paste it into our program. If you click a particular field the variable name is highlighted on the left side. Replace the trading symbol by the value of name field. Change the variety to CO. Change the kite connect to the name we created. Surround with try and catch. Remove the print function. And set the value to label. Call jlabel.zx to do this. OK run the code. Open browser and generate request token. If you don't know about this please watch the video given in i button. Ok let's see what is the margin required for reliance. We got the margin. Yes it matches with website data. Next let's calculate the number of stocks we can order for capital mentioned. Let's edit the code. Declare a variable for capital. JText field 6 is the variable name. Assign the value to variable created. Convert it into double. Move the margin calculated in previous step into a variable. Finally calculate the quantity by dividing capital by margin. 
cast the value to int. Next display the value. Text field 7 is the field to display the value. Add set text to display the quantity. Add quotation to convert into string. OK. We can buy 9 stocks for the capital of 5000. Next find the last traded price. Go to documentation and copy the get quotes code. Paste the code. Remove all instrument values. Append NSE at the front. Add value of stock name input field. Import libraries. Change kite connect. Add try and catch. JText field 1 is the field where we gonna display the last price. Add JText field dot set text to display the last price. Access the last price from quotes. Replace map key by instrument name. OK we got the last traded price. Next let's calculate the stop loss. Add a new field to set the amount we afford to lose. So that we can calculate the stop loss from the amount automatically. Remove the buy and sell buttons. Add two radio buttons to select buy or sell. Add button to place order. Add button group and assign it into radio button. OK let's edit the code. Declare a variable for LTP. Move the calculated last price to variable created. Next create a variable loss. Assign the value of loss amount. Text field 2 is the field where we enter loss amount. Get the value. Calculate the loss by quantity to find the loss points. Next check whether we place buy or sell order. Click the radio button. J radio button 3 is the name. Check whether it is selected. If selected, subtract loss points from LTP because buy stop loss is always less than last price. Else the order is sell. So add the loss points to LTP. Because in selling, loss should be above the last price. Finally display the value in the field stop loss. JText field 8 is the field to set the loss. OK run the code. OK we got the stop loss. Let's change the loss to 200. Let's check the zeroed hot order window. Here the loss contain large decimal places. Zeroed ha won't accept the stop loss like this. Let's convert it into two decimal places. Call decimal format class to do this. J 
change format to 0.00. Assign the value to loss after formatting. Convert into double. Finally set the value of stop loss field. Ok we got the two decimal places. Let's check for other loss amount. Still there is a problem. Decimal places should be the multiplier of 5. Ok let's edit the code. Example in screen shows how this works. Finally set the stop loss field. Ok we got the stop loss. In this part we have learned how to calculate stop loss and quantity automatically. In the next part we will place orders. Please watch the part 2 of this video from the link given in description. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.